So we decided to do a single blind study for our caffeine and reaction time experiment. So in a single blind study, the researcher knows what group the participants are in. There's another way that we can reduce bias in a study, and that's by doing a double blind study. So in a double blind study, neither the researcher nor the participants know what group they're in. This will further reduce bias by controlling for experimenter expectancy effect. For example, let's say instead of looking at caffeine's effect on reaction time, we want to look at the effects of kindness. Well, maybe I, as a researcher, believe that caffeine does make people more friendly. Well, when I interact with the subjects to rate their kindness, the belief I have may cause me to be more friendly towards them, which may in turn make the subjects more friendly to me. So my inconsistent treatment between the two groups may result in an unintentional bias, and that can affect the results of my study.